Hey guys, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we're we'll talking about why lemon or lemon juice belongs in your corona beer, that is, and not on your skin. Now, um, lemon juice, if you look on uh, YouTube, if you look on Google, you'll see hundreds, if not thousands, of videos and DIY uh, tips. Am I against that? No. However, in the context of lemon juice, you may want to actually listen to this video prior to using uh, lemon juice. Now, in the world of dermatology, we are very slow to actually, um, I guess, acknowledge and incorporate uh, healthy skincare or basically botanicals in regards to our um, skincare um, uses. Yeah? So, naturopathic skincare, yes, us dermatologists are, I guess, very slow compared to other specialties and other um, avenues in regards to skin. However, in the past 10 to 15 years, we've been more acceptable of using things like, um, for example, olive oil, argan oil, licorice, um, bearberry ex extracts, um, green tea, and all these are basically effective, but they're also safe in regards to dermatological uses. Lemon juice, on the other hand, is not, and I'll tell you why. Because lemon, um, when, so first of all, let's talk about why, what's the logic behind using lemon juice on the skin. I understand the logic, it's because when you actually have lemon juice and squeeze the lemon juice out, you can actually use the juice to form part of a um, skincare regime where it's rich, well, it's not really rich in vitamin C, yeah? It's vitamin C is there, so ascorbic acid is there. However, if you use proper skincare, you're getting at least a hundredfold uh, more ascorbic acid than a lemon, yeah? So the first thing is that um, I know skincare experts out there, experts use uh, lemon juice for ascorbic acid. The second thing is um, they use lemon juice for citric acid. Citric acid uh, can form part of your alpha hydroxy acid, which is a form of um, a glycolic acid, yeah? Now, in that context where we're using citric acid as an AHA, um, it can actually exfoliate your skin and can reduce pigmentation. The concentration, however, is extremely low compared to uh, a pharmaceutical grade alpha hydroxy acid. Yeah? So realistically, you probably need about 200 lemons in order to get that concentration. Now, thirdly, lemons also contain um, uh, vitamin B3 and niacin, niacin, uh, niacin amide. And the reason why, I guess, niacin works in the context of skin pigmentation is because it's anti-inflammatory um, and it's a free radical scavenger, which means um, you reduce the amount of free radicals from uh, sun. Now, all three reasons, I guess, are, are pseudoscience because it does provide an explanation. However, um, once again, you're not getting the concentration as what you would have in a, um, a cosmeceutical grade skincare regime, yeah? The problem with lemon juice is that uh, it contains uh, substances called sorolins, and sorolins are also found in uh, different types of uh, vegetables and fruits, for example, celery, lime, bergamot, and various others. Yeah? And the problem with that is that it reacts with UV light to actually cause what's known as a phototoxic reaction. The phototoxic reaction uh, means that in the areas which are exposed to light, often your face because that's where you're using your lemon juice you get these big, big blisters, like huge blisters. And the blisters may last anyway up to two weeks. The problem with that is that not only does it leave blisters, it can actually leave scarring, but almost in 100% of times, it can leave what's known as PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. In other words, darkening of the skin, which in some cases, well, in most cases, takes anywhere between one to two years before it resolves. And in some cases, especially if you actually have dark skin, yeah, so if you're ethnic skin type three and above, um, it can be long lasting, in other words, for life. So that's a very valid reason as to why you should be careful in the context of lemon juice. Guys, I hope you liked the video. This is more of a safety video on what not to do rather than what to do. Um, like I said, be safe. I'm not against uh, naturopathic skincare. Um, I'm all for it, but it has to be done in a safe environment. Guys, please comment, like, share, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.